Welcome back everyone. We're back with a very special Monday. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> now this isn't any pumpkin pie. We're talking iron bark pumpkin. Toasted with honey, clove, nutmeg, cinnamon. A really versatile banging sweet pastry. Let's get it. First off, we gotta get the pie filling made. For this, I'm using a normal carving pumpkin. This could be made after Halloween with the pumpkin that you've used to carve for said event. And we're also using an iron bark pumpkin. Now these pumpkins are stunning. Super orange flesh and a really deep flavor of pumpkin. So getting these pumpkins prepped is a bit of a laborious job. What you need is a serrated knife and a strong arm. So we're gonna go straight through the middle. We're going to extract all of the seeds with a spoon. Using the edge of the spoon as a knife as you carve and scrape out the middle. You've just got to take your knife and take the skin off. The skins and the seeds, I'm going to keep all these back. We have made a pumpkin soup recipe on my Instagram. The link for that pumpkin soup recipe is in the description below. These I'm just going to cut up into chunks. And we're just cubing this up. Get it into our tray. Our iron bark pumpkin is diced. Now we're going to macerate this slightly, stick it in a hot oven with tin foil over the top, get that steaming and baking down. I've got a bit of honey, which I'm just going to get over the top. Good hit of sugar. Again, sprinkling that straight over. Now we've got spices. We've got nutmeg, we've got clove, we've got ginger and we've got cinnamon. Just a little hit of all of those sprinkled over the top. Give this a little muddle in the tray and then that tray is going to be completely covered with tin foil. Now as that pumpkin warms up, the sugar is going to start to macerate it and release those juices that are locked inside that stunning pumpkin. They're going to then steam and it's going to help cook and soften that whole tray. Let's go straight in the oven. So our pumpkin is out of the oven. It's been about 50 minutes at about 150 degrees. Because of the sugar that's in there, it's released the steam from that pumpkin. So now we've left with this autumnal sweet pumpkin that's just bursting with flavor and juice. If you take the back of a spoon, you should be able to just squash that very, very easily. We're gonna leave that to cool down on the side while we make our pastry, and then this will be blended up into our mix. It's a pastry. This is a sweet pastry, and we make this, in my opinion, very, very different to how normal pastries are made. So we're just gonna crack our eggs and extract the yolk. Because of the softness and the shortness of this pastry, you don't really want to get your hands involved. What you do want to be using is a marise. So we go icing sugar straight in, and then we mix and sort of press that together to create this, this sugar egg paste. Once that's all mixed in, we go straight in with the butter. And then it's the same story again. You're using that egg and sugar mix with the soft pomade room temperature butter, and you're just mixing those together. You're incorporating the two fats. So it's important they're at the same temperature. They're at that room temperature where the butter is soft to the touch, pour in your flour. Now, if you're working at a bit of a dry time of the year, your flour's not gonna be as moist, so you might need to flicker a little bit of water in at this stage just to bring it together. But what we're doing, we're not mixing, we're cutting the flour into that mix as we rotate the bowl and sort of start to crumble those two mixtures together. And when it gets to the stage where it starts to look like clumpy sand, then you can get your hand involved. Squeezing and sort of trying to bring this together to a recognizable pastry dough, but you don't wanna work the flour too much. So you're just sort of squeezing and pressing more so than kneading and folding. Now our pastry is at a stage where we can get it out onto the bench. So you just wanna pour that straight on. And now we sort of mold and press and fold very gently together until we end up with that smooth, iconic pastry crust. We don't roll this pastry out on the bench with flour. We roll it between cling film. So you wanna get a couple of good sheets laid out onto your bench. First sheet of cling film to one side. I'm gonna make another one because you want one on the bottom and one on the top. Our cling film's down, the pastry just goes bang in the middle. Then we press and push with our rolling pin just to even out the dough. So when it's rolled, we get a nice round piece. Our other sheet of cling film goes over the top and we roll. So because this is between cling film, you can pick it up, shake it around, encourage a ball to run at you, anything you want. This is not gonna go anywhere. The integrity of the recipe isn't gonna change because you're not adding a hoofing load of flour. If you don't have space in the fridge, at this stage, you can roll it up like a scroll and then chill it but just be careful when you roll it back out that it doesn't crack and split. Straight in. A pie mix. We've got this stunning scented spiced pumpkin that goes straight into the blender. We'll go straight in with three eggs. I've got these ones with really orange yolks that will help with the general aesthetic of the pie. There's some sweetness there with the pumpkin. There's some sweetness there with the honey that we've used to macerate that throughout the cooking process. We just want to add some dark brown sugar just for that molasses -y sort of feel you get with it. 
Double cream, one scraped vanilla pod. Then we're just gonna bolster up the spice. So you want ginger, nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove. We're just gonna give this a blend and we just get that poured out into a bowl. Just gonna bang a cling film cartouche over the top and that can rest up in the fridge while we're lining and baking the tart. Our pastry is beautifully rested, nice and firm. While it's still cold out of the fridge, we're gonna bang this in the tart. So we lift off the top layer of the cling film, we lift that pastry in the cling film, and then we drape over the top of the tart case and slowly and carefully just bring it in and you use the cling film on the inside to smooth out the edges, smooth any cracks. The cling film is what's helping you, is that non-stick protection. Then to bake it blind, you simply add your other bit of cling film into the mix as well. It's a bit of a chef -y trick using cling film. You've got to make sure you have good cling film to start with. And if you don't have good cling film, you're not really confident using it, you can use baking paper. Then we're gonna add some rice. This could be baking beans, this could be chickpeas, it could be whatever you have. We push the rice to the outside just to keep those corners intact. Bring together your cling film on top like so. And that is ready for the oven. So our tart is blind baked. The cling film is slightly shrunk up on the top. And it just means that we can lift out that rice very, very easily. That can cool on the side and the rice is still good to use. So your mix, you just want to fill it up right to the top. And all those sort of bits around the outside that look a bit messy at the minute, don't worry about those because once this is cooked, we can trim all that up and make it look beautiful. And then this can go straight back into the oven. We've taken the pie out of the oven, we've turned it out and just given it a dust of icing sugar. I've taken the trim of the pastry, rolled it out, cut it out and just did this jack-o'-lantern decoration on top just for the theme of Halloween. <laughs> but you don't have to do that, you can do a little cat, a little witch's hat, whatever you want to go with it. This is the kid's job. They take the trimmings, they make the little decorations and it goes on top of the pie pre-cooked afterwards. Now we've got this, we're gonna put it onto our board and cut it open. And now... We slice! Ah, 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 thank you! Ah, 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 ah! Ha, 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 ha.